We have mentioned a few times the term simulation, and you may think that this crowd we generated with the crowdsource node is a simulation. But that's not true. What we've done here with the crowdsource node is not a simulation, but a playback. In Houdini language, a simulation is any process where some calculation is made. However, in this crowdsource, Houdini is not calculating anything. It's just playing a couple of animation clips on top of these points, but no calculations. But we want our agents to interact with each other and with the environment, to avoid some obstacles, to follow a path, as these things involve some kind of calculation, we'll have to create a simulation. To create our simulation, let's go first to the OBG context. Press Tab and create a DOP network node. You may be wondering, what does DOP mean? DOP, D-O-P, stands for Dynamic Operators, which is how Houdini calls simulations. Double click to go inside and here you'll see an output node completely alone with an orange marker. This orange marker tells Houdini that the output, the final result of this simulation is here. We'll now set up our simulation, create a few nodes here and there and all those nodes will end up here, connected to the output node. The output node will usually be the last node in your simulation, since it will receive all the data and calculations from the nodes above. Okay, every simulation is controlled by something called solver, where all the calculation happens. The solver we need in a crowd simulation is called crowd solver. Let's add a crowd solver node and plug it into the output node. We also need a source. In this case, we are going to use a crowd source. Careful with this. This crowd source node is not the same we have here in the crowd setup node. This crowd source node, the one we use to generate the points and create our crowd, works at a playback level. And the other one, the one we have in the .NET, works at a simulation level. They have the same name, but it's not the same node. We use this crowdsource node to tell Houdini what our raw materials are. In this case, our raw materials would be our agents. In the SOP parameter, let's click here, select our out underscore crowdsource node and click on accept. Now we'll connect this node to the second input of the crowd solver, where it says crowdsource. And the last thing we need in our crowd simulation is an object, in this case a crowd object. This crowd object is like a container that represents the result of my simulation. For now we won't change any of these parameters. The crowd object must be plugged into the first input of the crowd solver. And ironically, if everything is working fine, you'll see an abstract, chaotic shape like this one. Why do I have this weird thing in my viewport and what is that supposed to mean? When we configured the crowd source node in the crowd setup, we told Houdini that we were going to use these two clips, run sor01, run sor02. Then we imported that data into our simulation through the crowdsource node. The crowd solver knows that my agents should play those clips, but since those clips are not present in the simulation, the solver doesn't know what to do. In other words, every animation our agents will play must also be added to the simulation. And here, in the simulation context, we no longer use the term clip, we refer to animations as states. Let's press tab and create a crowd state node. As I said, this node represents one of our agent's animations or clips. Change its name to the name of the clip you want this node to represent. Drake, run, neutral, sword, zero, one. And because I'm using two clips, 
I'll have to create another crowd state node to represent the second clip. I'll do that by duplicating this node, holding the Alt key, clicking and dragging the node. As the original one ends with 01, Houdini will automatically change the new one to 02. Nice! So these two states represent the two clips our agents should play. I want to put these two states together so that I can connect them to the crowd solver. So I'll create a merge node and connect to the third input of the crowd solver. And magic! Our agents are back! Press play and you'll notice that it takes a bit to run because we are now working at a simulation level. We know this is a simulation because of this blue line in the timeline. This blue line represents what has been calculated so far and depending on your machine, it will run faster or slower. You'll also notice that there's something wrong with the animation. The animation of our characters doesn't match their motion in space. It's like they are running too fast, but they are moving too slow. And here is where our good old friend Locomotion comes into play. Remember when we set up the clips for our agent using the agent clip node? We talked about the channel called Locomotion that controls the motion of our agent in the Houdini space. Well, now we have to tell these two crowd states that the clips these two states represent should be using this locomotion channel. Go to the parameters window and in the clip playback section change this type parameter to locomotive. Let's do the same with the other state. Change this to locomotive and you'll notice that the blue line is now orange. Whenever we make a change in the simulation, the blue line will turn orange and we'll have to go back to the first frame and play it again to see the changes. Now my agents will effectively move in the Houdini space because they are using the locomotion channel.